Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another H Pirates 2 Definitive Edition replay. On the right side as the yellow Burmese, we have Sneaky Salmon. On the bottom left side as the Portuguese, we have Mame Luxon. Or Mame Luxon. Yes, now, let's go and cover each player's civilization bonuses. The Burmese, they are a monk and elephant civilization. Lumber camp technologies are free, are free, which could be very useful in this map since a lot of trees in the center. Infantry gets plus one attack starting for age, starting the feudal age. Battle offense get plus one, plus one armor. Monster technologies cost 50% less. Unique units are ran by ranged cavalry, that's pretty inaccurate, that throws darts. M Masapuri Cavalry. Cavalry gets plus four attack versus archers, making a very effective counter to them. And Heldog. Battle elephants get plus one, plus one armor again. Relax are visible in the start of the map, which could make it so going for fast castle is a good idea, and since it's arena as well, it would be very good. The Portuguese tend to do great in the arena maps. Naval and gunpowder civilization. All units cost 20% less gold. Warriors generate wood in addition to their food. It's not important. Can build a Federitas in the Imperial Age. Unique units of Organ Gun. It's. It's like how they did the rework. I'm not a big fan of it. They should always make it more of a counterpart than Magandel, in my opinion, but it's not. Unique text is like. No, that's the new the Carrack and Archivist. Gunpowder is fire unit more accurately. Got Militia advancing on forward as well. And we call our team bonus. Technologies research faster. Let's have got the man arms push way forward. There's also some villagers here as well. It does get a tower up. Both players in, in uh, feudal age. We do not see the man arms research. <clears throat> it does take up that house there. We got a barracks and some other infrastructure going up, including some housing. Militia and Scout push way forward. Got another tower going on up. He could go for his own mana arms, but not to, well, militia into mana arms, potentially. His opponent right now is not going for the mana arms research. Right now, the Portuguese is not even going out villagers at the moment. This may be an oversight. He has plenty of gold. He's the game denied not getting more gold to advance next age, I should say. We have more villagers being queued on up. Go for an early tower to protect the stone deposit. There are some gold deposits out here in the exact wrong direction. So far, this militia rush has been very effective in order to deny his, bone, his gold collection. And I think he was trying to go for fast castle because look at all that food. Outpost going up. Very nice. Skirmisher advancing forward. Not as a great item versus villagers. Especially also not versus uh, towers. Militia are battering down these housing. I do have another outpost here. Or for some wood. Let's see, what has Green has scouted out? He only knows about these two gold deposits and both. Yeah, that's one that's too close to this tower as well. He's going to need to pull out. Maybe. Ugh, it's not looking good. He literally does not have enough gold even for uh, mana arms. He can go for some militia to try to batter down some of these uh, towers, but they have cones up there, have interlocking fields of fire so they can cover each other's minimum range. Does Green even have a scout anymore? He does get out of market. He may be eyeing to sell off a bit of his uh, resources for a bit of gold. I think he just did that. Now he can get to next age. It gets a little bit more food. And there's Castle Age for green. Yellow, is he going for Castle Age? Yellow's not going for Castle Age just yet. Invested quite a bit into the soul. We've got these villagers now moving around. Got quite a bit of stone being collected up by green. And maybe I'm for a fast castle in Castle Age. We have a tower going up, does cancel that scaffolding there. That did put uh put him below the 125 need stone for a tower for a brief time. Does go and get the tower garrison. I'm not sure what. I think it was maybe not with villagers, maybe not with villagers. Yep, it was. Get a bit of fire there. This tower needs to focus on this tower and get a bit extra damage onto it. 
Let's get a good volley of arrows onto that one. Skirmishers advancing forward. We'll get a good volley into that villager. Power should be almost complete. One villager does go down. Man, our militia and scouts trying to hit these skirmishers now. Trying to use deny the stone deposit. There's another stone deposit here. Does Green know about it? Green does know about it, so we could perhaps uh, leave the walls. Skirmishers oh, receiving a bit of fire there from this scout. Does abandon that tower now. He could potentially just garrison that tower with his own skirmishers there, so he gets villagers back and working again. Oh, and I was pushing away before, they do have one, or most shot, they do have one pierce armor. Skirmishers right now do have three attacks that do two damage per javelin against the militia. I do have castle wage for green. Yellow is going for castle wage now, does get flutching, increasing the range and damage of these towers. As inside the zone towns under there, could perhaps keep him there for the time being to get some good health regen. He's got some more stone. He may be eyeing for a defensive castle. Right now, Green's at 350 stone. And he is going to fly another town center over here. So he's eyeing for a large number of town centers. But he has no gold in his boundary. Our house will finally go down. And Yellow's gonna take time to clean up this or start collecting some of that gold. And decide to pick up the whole load and we'll be heading on back home. The Portuguese player could try to pull out some knights. Got the militia now based on board. Loving down these housing. Bit of a home record they are. They don't have a whole lot of health at the moment, so the skirmisher does take out one. Takes on another. This last one has two health, so one javelin hit and it's down. We do have a four siege workshop. Going for some battery rams wouldn't be half bad. Maganellas wouldn't hurt either. Green, maybe I'm for battery ram Maganella himself. Just need a bit more wood. Arms have been deployed over there. Yellow Scout may have spotted this area. And more villagers are being deployed on out. Maganel been pulled down the field, pushes way forward. Now do got a defensive cast going on up. This Maganel could get some good hits there on those villagers. Green's Maganel is pushing way forward. If Green gets a neutral trade, that'd be good for Green. And, but no, he goes down. The primary stone connects. It does lose a couple villagers there. Good dodge there. Got the tower. Does have flushing, so was able to get some good covering fire. Does avoid that Maganel shot there. Get a bit of arrow damage there onto this Maganel. Castle is 41% complete. Another Maganel pull on the field. He's on he needs to get a mutual trade at least. Oh, ah. Does draw some fire there. Does avoid it. Green's Maganel is trying to pursue. May see a volley. Oh, Green does take a deadly hit there. Some of the villagers have been split off to get repaired up. I hear a monk. The first one of the ja skirmishers. This is a villager there. Castle 66% complete. Does avoid that volley there. Does get the kill there on Yellow's Maganel. Now his village can quickly finish up this castle. Yellow's Maganel is trying to advance and forward, trying to hit these villagers. Castle is currently 85% complete. Does avoid that volley there. And does take out that Maganel. Does lose Maganel. But that is good for Green. That means he can finish the castle. And he can pass to pull out Baton Ram to help cleave through this area. Up here. 
The villagers are going forward unescorted. No vision. Spots of gold right there. Exactly what he needs. Oh, I could use the castle there as well. Coming up with a stone here. He's building the town center. Very, very good. And then he's going to pick up that stone. That stone. Gold. Yells away on his castle now. Resign for some villagers. Just have Wilson have three villager queues. Right now, green does have superior number of villagers. Yellow has currently just one villager queue at the moment. Also, is that pop cap? And there we go. The gold deposits now able to be collected up by green. He finally has golden accessible, at least. The stone's going on up. He may want to pull out a castle over here just well as well, because it is pretty far out of the way. And green's going for Imperial Age. Maybe go for an early Federita. That would be expensive though. Monkey here gains good health healing. Skirmisher does go down. His unique unit is the Arambi, a not very good unit in my opinion. And the organ gun, I'm not a big fan of it either. Got some barracks, a stable, and a monster going up. Right now, first relic has been picked up by yellow. Okay. And this is where the monastery is, so that could be claimed by green. Yellow has not scouted up north at the moment. The scout will spot this town center relatively soon, and they will start applying some aggression, both redemption and sanctity at the moment. Yellow scout could be picked off quickly. Green's not paying attention. And a scout will run through and will spot the town center and the gold being collected. Right now, Green does has almost enough stone for a castle. He could try buying a little bit of stone there so he can get another Thank castle here just for defensive reasons. Yellow, of course, will have Imperial Age fields pretty soon, so soon he can play out trebuchets and engage on this sort of castle. Villager's trying to shank that Maganel. And overall, they were not successful. Villagers do go down. Some Rambai has been put a field. They do 12 damage. The accuracy is quite high. They have no hack armor, no pierce armor, and short range. They do melee damage as well, so... They will do a pathetically low amount of damage to this mining camp. Maybe I need to a bit of harassment with these villagers, but their short range and no and one pierce armor will make it so the town center can easily fork them. Yellow's currently not advancing any sort of engagement up here. Green does have enough for another castle. Oh, I heard a trebuchet. Yellow's trebuchet now engaging Green's castle, going for block printing as well. Looks like Yellow's eyeing for a heavy monk play. Both players, or actually no, Green has not gone in. Has gone in his Imperial Age up and going. So he has nothing really here to stop this trebuchet. I'm gonna have to try, try to push forward a battering ram, but that's not gonna be good as well. This one does have redemption. He's going for another castle here. He does need the population space for it. Castle starting to go on down. Oh, here. Got quite a bit of lumber claimed up. Green's castle is now pushed through that palisade wall there. We do not have this organ gun deployed on the field. That may be able to do some work for those villagers. More trebuchet hits there onto the castle now. Got big damage there onto this builder. He's not one of the villagers. Going 
nossos jovens. Fix up some of these villagers now. Getting some good damage there. So they're getting a lot of misses there. Just got another villager. Very nice. So these organ guns so far are moving forward uncontested. Trips is fancy forward. Green's castle does go down. Green is currently still not going for Imperial Age just yet. Or for some more cavalry armor. He's on severely bad pop housing at the moment. Housing seems a bit of fire there. And now the organ guns are starting to get killed off by the town center arrows. Portable oh, guns, organ guns will go down there. Spearing does get converted there. He realized his stick was not as uh, sharp as his opponent as these other sticks. So he changed sides. We got a good number of stables here. They're maybe they're eyeing for some light cavalry. He's still a pop cap. No, no longer pop cap. Organ guns being pulled on the field. I info hit some of the flanks. Villager way up here. And doesn't find this uh, wood line here, which could be potentially hit. Though so those probably just turn around and start shaking the organ guns. Did he just cancel all this infrastructure? I think he just sacked a lot of his own infrastructure, because I don't think Trevor Chase can kill that infrastructure all that quick. That's gonna start to go down there. Got more organ guns along the flanks. Kind of evacuating air area. We do have some good fire there onto the mill. Some pokes there onto the farms. Oh. Trying to convert one of those units. Let's take out the pikeman he just converted. Those are now back evacuating out of this area. They will forfeit some of these relics to his opponent. Green, yellow has claimed three relics. Yellow, green has only claimed one. Yellow does have some monks in the area to grab that relic. As going for a line of stone walls helping secure this area. Monastery has gone down. Relic has been ejected. Those are shanking their round by. Does it got a villager there? And they do get and that round by does get shanked. Do not have the farms getting poked to death by these Eichmann. Green has a good number of villagers here cutting this wood. And right now, this map is going a little bit crazy. Green is doing some harassment there onto Yellow's villagers. Right now, Yellow does have less villagers than opponent. 60 versus 89. You could potentially. Uh, Green could potentially age up to get out of Federita as well. Okay. We do now have yellow going for more pikemen, more a ram by. And so some more monks. He has going to convert this organ gun, but the organ gun will be fighting against three organ guns. Does get some good damage there. Organ guns are not properly engaging at the moment. Yellow's organ gun does go down. These pikemen will soon to go down as well. White cavalry now trying to hit the flanks. Got a good amount of stone being clicked up here as well. A couple of villagers are idle. Okay. Farms are going down. We do now have these pike or light cavalry getting some hits on these, on these villagers, taking a number of them out. <laughs> villagers trying to shake these bucks now. Monk does convert this villager over here, and we'll convert this villager here. These villagers will go down. Green has green started going to the next age. He's starting to go to the next age. He's also getting blue barrow. Does wild monster here gets that relic on the inside. So right now, yellow has four relics. I'm not sure where the last one's at. This map may not have another relic. Let's see, we we'll switch over to yellow. He does have rocks inherently reviewed. But the position it doesn't appear to be. Lumber Castle will take a bit of time to go down. 
And Yell's going for a defensive castle here. Green has his own castle in this region still. And Stone Wolves have been completed. We've got another town that's going to be up by the Portuguese. And he does still have 900 stone, so he can get out another castle. Does actually actually have enough stone for what, another two more two Federitas? Like Cavalry, we'll find some hits there on these villagers. And as well over here, Yellow's right now down to 69 villagers. Portuguese are down to 69 villagers as well. Now we're on Pula Age, maybe a good idea to go for a Federita. He does spend some stone on something. He's repairing up his castle now. We're seeing some tribute fire. Green needs to get out his own castle. Do got Squire being researched by the Yellow player, as well as some more pikemen. Oh, howdy. Sorry, I just saw the rumble comments. We do not have the stone walls starting to go on down. He's starting to break through a large number of these farms. Yeah, they're taking time to stab every single piece of vegetable in those farms. That's how why it takes so long to shore a farm of pikes. You know how these villagers try and push forward, trying to they deploy a fortified gate there in order to block this passage. Trying to convert some of these villagers. Around by trying to get some darts thrown on these villagers now. More rocks being thrown. Does get some hits. This is one reason why I do not like the around by. Look at that. They can't even hit a the broad side of this gate. I suppose that means the narrow side. Still. They can't hit the broad side of the barn. Look at that. This is why I don't like a Rambi. <laughs> they're short range. The damage is not high enough for the short range. And to mention, their accuracy does not warrant... Does not even warrant this. They just suck. I repair up the fortified housing gate now, but the gate does go down. It immediately starts rebuilding it. Got another pair of stones there. Getting some of the other wall segments at the moment. You'll eventually get hit, buddy. You have a castle here to pull it up like green. We've got a proxy castle. Okay. You have, looks like the trip war has still going forward. Green does lose the keep. Those take out the mining camp there, and now the green towns are likely to be next. Yellow's ca castle seems a bit of fire there. We do now have. Uh, that's a lot of converted organ guns, but they will be overrun by the Light Cavalry soon. He does save on the converted organ guns there. Light Cavalry charging forward will be taken out by the uh, pikemen. Okay. The rabbi and pikemen can now advance forward now. Dozer does go down now. The castle will receive a bit of fire as well. Arambai can't hit a giant trebuchet with darts. His throwing is worse than my own. Eichmann now engaging these loose skirmishers in melee. Loose skirmishers now on the ground there to get some fire and other ones. Monks gains a convert there, does convert one of the elite skirmishers. Arambai and Pikeman push me forward. Except some of these villagers that got converted. Pikeman won't be able to stay underneath towns of the fire for long, nor can the Rambai. But right now the town center is about does force evacuating now. And all these villagers may go down. Don't see a Federita deployed out over here. Can be able to get a Federita at the moment. These covers not being deployed on the field. Very good. I'm playing with some of the stone here as well. This 
skirmishers push my way forward, try and get some good hits. Green space still has some infrastructure over here, including production structures. They just steal some farms. Those farms may have been stolen by those villagers. They probably could take a time for a battery room to clean up all that infrastructure. Green's like Calvin now, which is pushing way forward. Dell's castle is still a bit damaged, and he has no stone at the moment. Green has almost enough for stone for another castle. This castle has been cleaned up by all these trebuchets. Green, however, does still have a village in the back line, starting to deploy out some more outposts. Here's some repairs over here. Nope, looks like one from stables. Oh, here, got another light cavalry charging forward, trying to get some damage there onto these trebuchets. Looks like the pathing's a little bit bad. You may want to go with the back one, not the front one. Yeah, their hits are not doing all too well. They're getting bugged out crazy. But they can fall into the gate. Alvadir is now trying to push forward to protect them. Oh, the skirmisher is trying to slowly pick apart this trebuchet. And Yell's castle is now being repaired on uh, Pursuit. Guys, still in deposit here. Yellow could potentially complain. He is playing all these gold deposits. There is a barracks or stable here that is now training some elephants. Like Cali is trying to pursue down these trip chase, unable to get any of them. Down south, we do have elite skirmishers engaging a stable. Not a good target for them. And looks like Yellowstone is eyeing for mass Hazar production. He may be eyeing to. He's being gold efficient, so he can just grind his opponent down to that way. Haven't played his gold first. Got some hand cannon here. Some blood Portuguese. Very nice. Bomb bars raining on him. And. I'm going to do disable the OBS preview to save up some resources there. So now the bomb bar is taking out some of these trebuchets. More hussars pushing me forward. Should be able to deal with these skirmishers no problem. Monk trying to get a conversion there on some of these units. There goes those halberdiers. The Portuguese does have ballistics as well as chemistry. And what some cavalry archer seems so chooses, but that's probably not very useful. Bombard gains some around to the castle now, does take out farm. Alvadiers have been deployed out by yellow now, though there's a good number of skirmishers in this region. The Portuguese player cannot go to Hazar. Only to like cavalry, doesn't have that much research for them either way. Hazar's not pushing forward, does go and double layer that stone wall for some odd reason. More house blood over here. No Federita just yet. He may want to eye for Federita. He has a bit of gold and stone for it. Maybe go for two Federitas. Because right now he has no gold left in his borders. His opponent has still plenty of gold left that he can claim. As well as stone. There's still seven deposits of stone untouched for Yell the Claim. That's going to be quite significant. Mill does go up there, trying to, and there is a Federita there. This will provide a good trickle of all resources. Bombard is now firing away, getting a bit damaged. Hazar is trying to overrun those bombards. I know it's just all we use these mechanic cannons from the field. They do have high good damage. They'll still count be counted by Huzzars, but they can still at least get some good holes, put some good holes into them. Bombards at least two of them haven't saved. One did go down there. Better read it now to pull it out field. We've got these light cali pushing way forward, or Huzzars I should say. Right now, the Portuguese player may want to eye for some halberdiers. I only have a spearman at the moment. He's got one of the bombards there, trying to pursue the other bombard now. Huzzars engaging Huzzars, hand cannons now in the mix. Some hand cannons are starting to go down as well. More of the Huzzars were team on board. The difference between light cavalry and Huzzars is not too significant. Bay 80 base health versus 95 base health. 
has the same base damage. You just get additional, no additional pierce, base pierce armor as well. It's really just a health increase. I like how it's not too terrible. But the problem is, he doesn't have many other blacksmith research. Right now, Yellow's Hazard has all the armor upgrades. I don't have any, all the damage upgrades at the moment. While Green has hardly been touched in upgrades whatsoever. Let's have 2 2 armor now, so need some blacksmith damage. Ankenir is firing away. We'll take out some of these villagers. Ankenir is now being focused down by these Hazars. More like having fun field. He's also beating out some of his own pikemen. Hill slowly going through that forest. Maybe it will create a breach over the side of the map. Uh. Okay. Green somehow trapped in a whole bunch of Hazars in there. So now there's five unused population by yellow. He could try slicing his way out of there though. Take a bit of time because of the stone walls. Sounds like there could be hit and destroyed by the light cavalry, given enough time. And no garrison inside. More light cavalry, more Hazars, or light cavalry skirmishers and pikemen can pull out. Also some villagers. Right now, yellow is eyeing for... He is going for the Cavalier research. He can go up to... He can only go up to Cavalier, not to uh, Paladin. So at this point in time, Cavalier will be a very high quality unit from the boy on the field. Yellow is starting to finally cleave through some of this infrastructure with a handful of Hazars. So his part original base is getting cleaved through, like Green's base. More ran by, big wave of nice being floored on the field. Like Cavalry could follow this uh, path to the villagers here, kill off a good number of them. He also has a small number of villagers, as well as member of the Federitas on the play field as well. Assume additional 20 populations consumed. So the Portuguese does need some more housing as well. Let's take some of these uh, villagers now. Got a big wave of cavaliers now being pulled on the field. And losing more villagers allows him to pull out more force on the field. Right now, greens, well, yellow's gold reserve has been eaten through quite a bit. All I think so is cavaliers going for the uh, Monopuri cavalry in plus four attack versus archers. That doesn't say put archers, it says archers, which does not apply to uh, javelin troops, if I'm reading that correctly. A rambi, still not a good option. Cavaliers not pushing way forward, they right now have 140 health, compared to light cavaliers, just 80. And this fight will heavily go in favor of the cavaliers. This is a high quality force there, got a good way for cavaliers to one field, as well as another cavalier. Skirmisher is getting some javelins thrown onto the Hazar there. Right now, Green needs needs he needs pike uh, full halberdiers now. Full halberdiers being researched. I wonder. Yeah, there's more force there. Yellow doesn't realize that they're that they're all trapped there, which will consume a bit of population for you. Yeah, hello. Pike can get good damage here now. Halberdiers. Of course, the Cavaliers do win on 1v1, but they're getting quite bad in throughs. Couple hand candy is getting some holes onto them. Going for the Blast Forge now. That Blast Forge, Cast Iron, that's not what that research is called. Do not have these Cavaliers from running around, trying to look for more housing there. The Portuguese players are in for a bit more population space. Is there more than one Federita? Nope, not the moment. He doesn't have enough stone for another Federita. If he gets enough stone for another Federita, I may be a good idea to go for it. As well as gold, he'll probably get that similar timing. But right now, he's going for more Bombards, more Hand Caneers. Let's find these, more of these uh, villagers for green. But these Cavaliers will be picked on off. More Halberdiers will go on the field and gaze the Halberdiers. It does have a large amount of attack here. Oh yeah, as well. I forgot. The Burmese as well. Get possible attack per age. So these uh, Halberdiers 
will be hitting pretty hard. They're right now at 13 damage. Let's see, plus one attack and A starting to A, so that's just plus three attack. Plus three for another attack. I'm not sure where they're getting that last plus one attack. Nope, either way, we do now have these Halvers before gain some good damage. This Halvers will be spirit to the Portuguese Halvers, that's that will be for sure. Okay. In comparison to the Portuguese ones, they're doing 8 damage, so these Burmese Palvadiers are nearly doing twice the damage as opponents, which is very important. Forward, more halberds being pushed on, trying to get some more damage on this infrastructure. Okay. Another wave of halberds advancing on forward and then back. We have a good number of barracks here as well. Looks like I just want to see mass halberds as well as new arson to increase their building damage. I wonder. Okay, now he's realized it. He's trying to try to break on through. He does destroy his own stable there so he can actually attack. Now there's quite a bit of force there. If green doesn't clean them up, that could be a big problem in the near future. Got some javelin troops here to gain some good damage in, but yellow's halberdiers will be far superior. Burmese can also get all the armor on infantry, which he does not currently have. The Portuguese can get all the armor and all the damage as well. He does have all, oh, that's still the Burmese player. Portuguese player can get all the damage and the armor. Does have all the armor, not all the damage. See. We do not have Blast Forge being researched as well. War Scrumptures wouldn't hurt. And Canyers will be good because of the other deers. Of course, we do cost gold. Now the Portuguese player is pretty close to getting enough resources to get out another Federator. I would actually recommend that. They'll provide us a good amount of gold as well as stone income to work with. Right now the Portuguese income is resources of down the minimal, while the, Portuguese, the Burmese has an excellent reserve of gold because it's simply just gold for him to claim. And even the base uh, original one for the Portuguese player in the first place, looks like the Koreans managed to get a uh, nice swallow of units. Right now, the population space got 115 villages for yellow, 97 for green, with one Federita. Over here, Halvier is now being pursued by these light cavalry. Do not have the castle being floored on out by yellow as well. Nice defensive castle will help him keep his farms up here from all these halberdiers. Halberdiers trying to hit some of these villagers now. They do have the final blast force does give him plus two attack. So they do have comparable damage, but nothing as great as opponents currently have. A ram by advancing forward, it will go down. Green's going for Thumb Ring as well as more of these skirmishers in Parson. Hand part being pulled out as well. Yellow's going for a Tomato Swordsman transition. Can he go up to Champions? Well, yes, he can go up to Champions if so, so needed. Does also have Gamerson's research. Portuguese can get to Gamerson and also buy in Gamerson. Right now, these two longsword currently have four pierced armor at the moment, which is quite significant. Now, the two hand swords are gonna advance on forward. He's brains eyeing to go for his own mana arms research now. He also wants some more of the two hand swords, from not going with the champions just yet. Has plenty of gold for it, going for some fazars as well. And some of Green's. Halberdier is in that region as well. They'll be hit down. Got these Halberdiers between forward, get some damage. Green will slowly clear through Yell's base. Green's area seems relatively secure at the moment. 
A rock is stuck in midair from a trebuchet. I just found that bit amusing. Okay. His hand cannon is going to be very useful. I know Green, I saw him going for mana arms, which is going for some more hand cannon, which is going to be good. Like having one hurt. And now the Varus were seeing a bit of fire, but it will slowly go down to a jab and fire. Yellow's forces get cleaned up there. Right now, Yellow has more villagers, Green has less, but men plus, plus 20 for Federita, which does provide resources about 9 villagers worth, but it is fears out of nowhere. Vermes player does, is going for champion research, needs a bit more population housing. He loses some of his housing here, but he does have plenty of wood to get those rebuilt. House will go down. Have the barracks are seeing a bit of damage there. Got a good number of these champions now being deployed on the field. The champions should be very effective in this situation. They do have right now 20 attack, and it was those four pierce armor, so it should be with Sam Private Javelin Fire. The Javelins are right now doing seven attack. The army player does. Still need one more line of pierce armor that could be very useful in helping protect himself from all the javelins. Now, if should bring up their addition, give them two pierce armor, so that should give them up to six pierce armor, making some of those javelins do one damage each. James is being pulled on a field, able to overrun the light cavalry, and it should be a rip apart everything in front of them. Champion starting to make it advance. We got the like Hazars and Pursuits Bell trying to overrun these hand cannons. A good number of hand cannons in this region. Which are a high quality unit. Excellent versus the infantry. They will rip apart these champions. Well, there's a large number of champions here. They're throwing up a lot of mass in order to stop these champions. These uh, hand cannons may want to get on the other side of these javelins. Of these uh, skirmishers. Does it get a good volley there? And now hand cannons are falling back. Got some more archer ranges here. Got more Hazards just being deployed on out. Right now the Burmese Cleric, he can he get hand cannoneers? No, he cannot get hand cannoneers. Takes out some of these champions now. He also has plenty of gold to work with on the map and it rolls in the stores. And these champions are just pushing way forward, taking out some of these trebuchets there for hand cannoneers. There's just a good number of them. Let's get a good volley there. Can't let these champions connect on these hand cannoneers. Cannoneers only have 40 health. A quick five slices and a hand cannon goes down to these uh, champions with their 20 attack. Actually, not even five slices, just three slices and they're down. Hand cannon gets good damage there on those other forces there. Let's have a handful of halberdiers to help hit these Hazars. Hazars are getting hit by these Hubbiters now. Hazars still trying to stream it forward. The number is going down. Is there a second fighter reader on the field? This appears to be just the one at the moment. Hazars are seeing a bit of fire there. Hubbiters trying to get some hits there onto these Hazars. There's all those Hazars now. Green Hells has a sizable force now. Right now, I have Yellow selected. He does not have much in the build queue or anything in the build queue. Going for the Pulsars now. Of course, can play around this keeps. So the opponent does not have any siege workers to gauge these castles. Or castle. Green's right now just queued up a bunch of trash and reinforcements as well as some hand candiers over here. So Hulsars are trying to clean up this other stuff. What does Green have over here? Has some Hulsars just queued up? Like Cavalry pushing way forward, trying to get some good damage there onto the barracks. Castle starting to fire away. It's not going good for Yellow. Yellow, what is Yellow going for? He's going for. Wait, that is the Onager upgrade, not a. There's no upgrades. Maganelos to Onagers. Does he have Can he, Does he have access to Siege Engineers? He does have access to Siege Engineers, doesn't have current research. That's a very important research for when it comes to Onagers. 
Again, I'm just plus one range is very, very important. And can you just have seven range? I'm not sure. On, going from uh, Meganos to Andres, they get plus one range from that, right? I think so. I rarely ever see people go for the Andres research and large, enlarge the number of the replays I cast. Do not have Andre being deployed on out somewhere. Has been number of life cavalry in reserve. Housing can take a bit of gunfire. Andre now deployed on the field somewhere. Oh, right there. Looks like a pair of Andres inside the siege workshop. Do have some stone walls deployed by yellow right there. As well as right here. As well as by green. Right now, the village account is very similar, so right now the Portuguese does have a little better better income. We do not see crop rotation for the Where Burmese at the moment. Well, the Portuguese does not have crop rotation either. Nor in the mining uh, text, because he simply didn't really have access to gold mines the entire game. Got more traps in build 2 for green. Yellow sign for more villagers. He has a good amount of food and gold there. There's the Andres. They do have eight range, so he does need siege engineers. Those, the, the, they do get forced evacuated out of there. As well as trying to gauge this light cavalry. So got the oh, good yeah. number of halberdiers and and canyers in this region. Money can't receive a bit of damage from the hand canyers. Going for a big line champions. Trebuchet is high six and pot shots on against the bombards. Castle is even to fire. If the castle goes down, yellow's gonna be in a really bad position. Abby is still trying to destroy a lot of this housing here. But this is gonna try to break through. He's cutting he does cut through the forest there. And there is a Nope, there's no breach there. But the Andre can quickly clean that up as well. Bombards push away, gain some damage there, trying to push over this uh, Hazars. Yellow's army, quite a bit of force here. Not advancing at the moment. And some attack trees. Well, the, the main bot not been an attack notification, though Fortress Wall did not receive a single point of damage. Castle gained a bit of damage there. We'll see a bit more fire there. Trying to repair up the castle now. Champions and Hazards for base four will find the Eichmann or the Halberdiers. Champions will be able to deal with all the ground units there for these hand cannon symbols problem. The Hazards could push on forward to snipe down these bombards. Yells the force advance over here. And there is actually a breach down there, so Yells great pushes way forward. Green currently has. So 93 villagers, yellow has 121. Green's at pop cap, though it's a little bit need a bit more population housing there. Hank and is starting to get overran by these forces. Yellow's trying to stream onto green's face. Got the, the wave of between the horsemen trying to stop these Hazars. Yellow goes green does hold the line over here. Yellow's trying to advance over here. Got decent force here. And if they're ran by, that's not a piece of force. Onager needs to hit something else than that lumber camp at the moment. Green does have a more infrastructure being put on the front line, just a couple barracks. And some of these Hazards do uh, engage these light cavalry. There's also some halberdiers and champions here for green. I'm looking good for yellow. Green does have another town center here. Onager does go down. Yellow does get cleaned up there. Going for additional town center here. He's starting to evacuate into his opponent's original base. Does have a good number of town centers everywhere. And the keep hat or the castle has been repaired on up. This will be a good hard point here for preventing green from advancing. Green is going to have to get away for gold for the Federitas, as well as population space for the bombards. Yellow does have a good superior number of villagers right now, but the Federitas well. Hazard's just getting gunned down right there. I 
I mean, it has a sizable force mates board. It does have approximately 50 units in this region. If I might do a box select, I feel like I'm selecting less. 53, potentially. So, got these Hazards clean up some of this infrastructure, and Green does need some housing there. There's a couple of, like, cavalry in here as well. Let's find some of these onagers. Champ is now pushing forward to stop these light cavalry. He may lose another onager there. Does lose an onager there, that wounded one. Onagers are now able to engage these halberdiers. Halberdiers trying to engage the onagers. Another onager does go down. Finds a pretty good volley there on these halberdiers, but the other volleys were not good. Does find a volley there as well. Champion should be able to report these halberdiers, no problem. So can the castle. Yellow's clucking up there, green's clucking right here. No, just one feather reader on the field. James oh, Pushway forward, you got this bomb bar in this region as well. I get some damage on in. I hear some conversions. Hand cannons push away forward. Champions trying to overwhelm the hand cannons. Let's gun down the monks. Small force there. These workshops are starting to go on down as well. Can we find some of these forces here? Right now the resource reserve float. Green has one relic, yellow has four, and yellow has a good amount of wood and gold, so going for more onagers wouldn't hurt. Oh, Unless uh, assuming they get friendly fire, then they would hurt. Yes, yeah, so both players have good queues stored up, but if we got a lot of champions in the build queue, as well as more onagers for yellow. Green right now is just for a lot more trash. As well as the same candy as the field, as well as more like cavalry. And here's what we forward. Onager finds a deadly hit there. Cleaving through these hand candiers. And he's not paying attention. Lost half his hand candiers to a single onager. There's not one more there. May get another volley there. He's in pursuit. Doesn't have siege engineers still just yet. Trying to repair it up now. Does not get another volley there. More onagers push away forward. Bombards do all go down to these various forces there. They're also very, very wounded, so this hand cannon is quick finish them off. Hand cannon do avoid the onagers. Does take out another onager there. Oh. Hey guys, YouTube description. Welcome to the channel. Oh, I just saw these Hussars now creeping on in, engaging. Hussars trying to hit some of these villagers. There's a lot of exposed villagers for green. Let's get a good volley here. Champions are able to hold, keep these onagers alive, but more like cavalry really pushing them forward, trying to snipe down these onagers. Like cavalry now stringing them in everywhere, getting some good kills on these Portuguese villagers. He does have, he's grounding on quickly, he still has a couple town centers. Three towns so we can quickly get them rebuilt. Does have a good amount of food and wood for rebuilding them. We have another town center as well. And now the light cavalry are streaming on in, hitting multiple villager locations right now. Green is unable to max out. He's trying to get more units. His reserve was not being queued up there. More champions being pulled on out. Getting some hits there on these villagers now. And we do have a. Uh, on the other side of this uh, wood wall. Green is starting to get thrown every single direction there, having trouble with remaxing, losing a large number of villagers down to 50. He's been selling off the stone for gold, which is a valuable trade. His opponent could take the valuable trades and then plan them to buy stone at a good rate himself. Game is pushing me forward. I got Halbeers as well. Over here, got these light cavalry moving around. I was also in pursuit of them as well. Light cavalry not hitting this town center. Green's down to 56 villagers. I think it's going to be the end of the game for Green. Or Hazard trying to get some hits there on Yellow's villagers this time. This is where a good number of villagers are at at the moment. It does take out that battery ram there. Onager is leading through all the number of these villagers there. More champions being thrown on in as well. He has a big wave of onagers here. 
700 there, so that's a good uh, kill of everything else. So right now, Yellow has spent through his gold reserve, as well as his food has plenty of wood. So both sides are just really giving them each other black eyes. So I can take time to get these villages from this wood line and to build more farms just somewhere. Ooh, bit of friendly fire there, damage there, taking out some of his champions. Now we're going to stream on in. Green Assault has been blunted over here, so it's more like how it's pushing forward. These villages are coming through nothing. They could be sent to the corner of the map to, for farms. More infrastructure are going down, but now the trebuchet engaged in some ferrets. Large amount of green infrastructure is going down. Green right now is just going for more like cavalry. It's down to 49 villages, down half the village population. Still has a Federita though. Federita does have a lot of pierced armor, a bit of health to work with, and so some hack armor. Like how we will find some more of these Burmese villagers. Honor to put for some more champions. Maybe we'll get some good on these halberdiers. How we are starting to overrun these trip chase now. Let's get a good damage onto his, on those halberdiers. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot of friendly fire damage there. Archer may want to hold it back. It does take out those archer range there, but now the light cavalry turn over on these onagers. Let's take out one of the onagers there. Trebuchets do stay alive. And both onagers do go down, but Trebuchet staying alive means he does have to access to this mobile siege platforms. Green's attack over here has been fully blunted. He does not stream in some more Huzzars, taking out some more Green's infrastructure. Green starts to go for more hand candiers and halberdiers. Yeah, this one has nothing really queued up. He may even get some more stuff queued up. He has plenty of woods, so maybe some more trash. He also needs to take. Obviously, he's starting to get some more farmers out. Very good. Yellow's ground force is going to be cleaving through a lot of green's okay. infrastructure. He's got to save those hand cannoneers. Let's see, got some of these reinforcing Huzzars. And those, some of those hand cannoneers will go down. Over here, do have yellow advancing forward, still cleaning through this infrastructure. Champions in the mix, Huzzars charging forward, more champions pushing their way forward. These three relics have been very valuable for yellow. Better has been very valuable for green and that one relic. Green has 49 villagers. Yellow has 97, now 99. Green has, uh, yellow's also queued up a bunch of villagers. Has four villager queues. Green right now has three villager queues. And he is going to start losing the town center, so this will start his build for green max. He does cast the GG, so green has backed up the game. His end grade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.